Hi and hello guys. I have got a very interesting video to share with you all today. Today in this video, I will show you as to how you can control or change your Raspberry Pi's volume using a rotary encoder. So as you can see over here, I have got the rotary encoder connected to my Raspberry Pi 4 board. The connection pattern or the diagram is as follows. So I have connected the clock pin of the rotary encoder to GPIO number 4 of the Raspberry Pi board and then I have connected the data pin or the DT pin of the encoder to GPIO number 17 of the Raspberry Pi board and then I have got the SW pin of the rotary encoder connected to GPIO number 27 of the Raspberry Pi board okay so do please mind that these are GPIO numbers and not physical pin numbers that is BCM GPIO numbers these are a lot different from the physical pin numbers okay so please do pay attention to that and lastly I have got the plus or the VCC or the supply of the rotary encoder connected to 3.3 volt pin of the Raspberry Pi board and then the ground of the rotary encoder goes to the ground of the Raspberry Pi board okay so some of the rotary encoders will have the plus pin uh, printed as 5 volts so even then please connect that uh, pin to 3.3 volt pin of your raspberry pi board and not to the 5 volt pin okay so there is another thing that you need to pay attention to so after making these connections we need to install a module or a package to do that open up a terminal and type pip3 install py alsa audio okay so we are installing this package for python 3 and that is why we have got the pip3 over here see if you want to install this package for a root user you can prefix sudo and then run the command once again as in like sudo pip3 install py alsa audio okay so that will install the package for the root users okay so now that you have installed the package get hold of the script uh, that I have worked on you can find the link to the script in the description of this video head over to that link and click on the raw button that you see on your screen and then copy the address of the script from the address bar And in order to download the script onto your Pi, type wget and then paste the address of the script and press enter. So this will automatically download the script. Right now we are working in the home slash Pi directory. So the script will be downloaded in the home slash Pi directory. So if you have changed directories and use the wget command the script will be downloaded in that directory on which you are currently working on okay so please do bear in mind that as well okay so now everything is set up we can run the script to run the script type python3 space and then path to the script followed by the name of the script and then press enter okay so first uh, it will print the existing volume state and the mute state and now once we start moving or rotating the encoder the volume will change okay so as i am rotating the encoder you can see the volume change on the menu bar or the task bar at your top right and also you can see the changed volume being printed on the terminal say if i press on the encoder it will toggle the mute state that is the audio will be muted and unmuted okay so before i wind off this video you can actually change the 
volume step size in the script. By default, I have set the volume step size to 5. You can change it to whatever you want or whatever you desire. Okay. Okay, guys. So that is pretty much it. So that was a straightforward tutorial to help you guys control your Raspberry Pi volume using a rotary encoder. So I really hope that you find this video useful and informative. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye bye.